So you want to know what makes a great business analyst? Well, I'm here to answer that. What is going on, guys? My name is Faisal. Welcome to the channel where I talk all things BA and IT in general. So if you're new, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. It helps me out a lot when you support the channel. And if you have any questions and concerns, comment them down below. With that being said, got the whiteboard behind me here to obviously break down. Okay, so... We know what a business analyst does. We know the roles and responsibilities of a BA, but now we can talk about the skill set, okay? Because not everybody can become a business analyst, okay? And certainly not everybody can become a good or a great business analyst, okay? Let's say great. I don't want to just be good. I want to be great. So what are the skills that you need to be a great BA, Okay. And how I would break this down is in two categories, okay? You've got your hard skills, which are the actual, you know, documentation that you do. And then there's soft skills, okay? Which are not really like, you know, um, skill sets that you can learn. These are more interpersonal type of things. I mean, they are things you can learn, obviously. But what I mean by that is a hard skill would be coding, you have to know a language to code. But a soft skill could be something like leadership, okay? So, for example, with a developer, hard skill would be coding that I mentioned. You need to know, you know, Java. You need to know uh, Python. But as far as a soft skill, you don't really need leadership. Maybe, maybe a, a technical lead developer would, but a regular developer, probably not. So, four BAs. What do we have here? And I'm going to start with the soft skill first, okay? I'm going to start with the soft skill because the most important soft skill that you need as a business analyst by far, like this is number one by far, is communication. That is right. Communication, okay? This is what makes or breaks a good or a great, I should say, BA. Because to me, it all starts with communication. If you are not great at communicating, I don't care how good your hard skills are. I don't care how good your other soft skills are. You won't be a great BA because being a great communicator is what allows a BA to have success in all these other areas. Okay. Your entire job relies on communicating. You've got the BA talking to the IT folks. You've got the BA talking to the business folks. Remember? I want to go back to my triangle that I always give you guys to let you guys know, obviously, where the BA fits in. This is our triangle. It's a backward triangle, but you get my point here. The communication is key here because the business can't communicate to IT, and that's where they need the BA to communicate to IT, okay? So you got to have the communication to the business, when they communicate back to you, you got to communicate that to IT. IT has any questions, communicate back to IT or back to business. So you are literally communicating between these two parties. So communication is so key here. It is the biggest thing because if a BA is not great at this, they're just not going to be a good BA. You're, you're going to fail. So to me, the most important thing is communication. And it doesn't always have to be. You don't have to be vocal and, and talkative all the time. But you have to communicate absolutely when necessary. Now let's move on to a hard skill here. And I'll start obviously with number one. The most important thing is requirements. I mean, didn't want to, you know, build up the suspense here because you should know this. This is what a BA does. You need to be good at requirements documentation. And this is something where obviously you will have to learn um, in it differs with methodologies because remember I told you if you're going with an agile methodology versus a waterfall, you know, you're going to have a different format for requirements. You're going to have to do a uh, business requirements document here versus a user story, you know. So there's different things here. But regardless, a good, great BA, I keep saying good, we're striving for great folks, a great BA is very good at documenting requirements. They know how uh, user stories are written. They know how business requirements documents are written. They know the format. They know everything, like the back of their hand, and they just know how to write the requirements. So 
Simple enough, you guys should know this. Obviously, this is the biggest thing, okay? Let's move back to the soft skill here real quick, and we'll go back to another soft skill that I like, which is, I would say, critical thinking. And you can call this by a couple things. Uh, you can say problem solving, okay? Critical thinking, people call it that. But basically, this is the, this is the analysis part of the business analyst, okay? Because this is where that talk with business comes in to play here, okay? Business gives you the requirements, okay? It's not just like you're going to take the requirements that the stakeholders give you and just, okay, those are the requirements, got it, document them and hand it over to the developers. No, a great business analyst looks at the requirements these stakeholders have and then analyzes them, pokes hole in, the, in them, make sure every detail, every scenario is captured, all of the things in the, those requirements is captured and ask questions, okay? Because here's the thing, the stakeholders, they're never gonna be perfect. And so as the BA, you are plugging in all those holes and ask the questions. Did we think about this scenario? Did we think about that scenario? Did we, you know, remember to do this? Did we remember to do that? And if that is covered, great, but more likely than not, not everything will be. That's where you come in. Being able to have that eye to critically think, critically know, have the analysis to go back and, and double check the requirements. And it doesn't just take one session, it takes multiple sessions to be able to know, okay, we really hammered out everything. Come coding time, they won't mess up, they won't forget something, okay? And it goes into the IT side as well. When you hand off the requirements to the coders and they come back and let's say they miss something, you have to realize what they missed or what they forgot. And if there was documented the requirements, then obviously they totally missed it, but you have to have that eye there because developers aren't perfect either. They can make mistakes. So to me, this is huge. This is a big critical soft skill. To me, these are obviously the top two here, but this is very, very important, okay? Another soft skill that I'll give here, and this is my final one that I like. I like this a lot personally. Versatility. I was making sure I spelled it right. Versatility. Here's the thing in the ever-changing uh, methodologies that we have today, like I told you with Waterfall Agile, there's so many things moving, there's so many pieces, parts moving, the whole SDLC cycle. You've got developers, you've got stakeholders, you've got QA analysts, you've got architects, you've got project managers, you've got program managers. There are so many different people, roles, responsibilities that are there in the entire cycle that you have to be able to be versatile and be able to wear different hats, okay? And you have to be able to, okay, the PM isn't available, I can play that role for a day or two. If the QA isn't available, I can go and help test. I'm not saying a BA has to have these, uh, you know, things necessarily, but it sure helps, okay? So being able to be versatile and be able to wear those different hats, that helps, keeps the sprints moving, keeps the you know, a cycle going and you're a valuable member of the team. It's not just like, okay, he just does what a BA does and then that's it. No, the thing is sometimes it helps when you're able to wear different hats and be able to know, okay, I know exactly what obviously coders do. I know what language is being coded in. I know exactly how the QA folks, the quality folks are testing it. I know what the architect's thinking in his architectural diagram. If you understand all that, automatically you're going to become a better BA because you understand the entire process. Okay. You un understand the concept. This is the, the same thing where, you know, if you memorize something and then you just spit it out, you don't learn anything. You have to have, have the concept, you have to conceptualize it. And so knowing the entire cycle, that is where that comes in. So versatility, very important, but again, obviously lower on the totem pole than the other two. And finally, let's go back to the hard skills real quick here. And I'm just going to say, you got to be a fast learner, okay? And I know this might seem like a, uh, a soft skill, but it is a hard skill because here's the thing. When I say fast learner, you know, you got to be able to learn apps. You got to be able to um, know different documents. 
So point being is you're working with, you know, Word, a PowerPoint, Visio, you're working with, you know, a Jira, you're working with TFS, you're working with a lot of different applications and you have to be able to learn them all very quickly. Okay, where am I storing my requirements? Okay, in Jira or are they in a document or are they in this place, that place? So all of those things are important. And if you are slow, you're going to slow down the whole boat. So to, it's very important to be a fast learner because again, with all of the sprints going on, with all of the different moving pieces and parts, you can't have everybody wait on you. You got to be able to catch up you got to be able to be a fast learner. So there you have it, folks. These are the baseline skills that you need, I believe, to become a great business analyst. If you have these skills, you have great communication, you're a good problem solver, critical thinker, and you're versatile, and you obviously know your work around the requirements and you're a fast learner, I think you're a great BA at that point. So to me, there you have it. Hopefully that helps you out. If it does, please uh, like this video and give it a big thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching.